Hello, I'm Glenn Dyer, and this is a dire situation. You know, last week when I said after watching Brave that I wish I could have seen Madagascar 3 instead? I, I guess I lied. I did not want to see that. You know, it was terrible, I have to say. It is so ludicrous, so over the top, so mind-blowingly insane that you cannot take it seriously in the least. It's not even funny at some points how obscene it can be. I better structure this. Okay. Um, the first movie, alright? Um, I thought it was alright. You know, um, I was never a big fan. I remember I saw this a little kid, like, in theaters. I thought it was pretty fun back then. You know, but it's alright. I remember it came out around the same time as this other movie, The Wild. And, uh, to be honest, to this day, I still have trouble determining which is which. But maybe that's just me. Um, anyway, anyway. The second one. I admit I haven't actually seen all of it. I saw about the last half hour when it was on TV. But... From what I saw, it looked okay. You know, what I saw of the villain and stuff, what I, you know, it, it seemed all right. I remember there were even some bits in that last that, that made me laugh. Like, the, um, that tour group from New York was turning into all these jungle civilians, you know. It was just, I thought that was pretty funny and all that. And there was a nice scene between the lion and his zebra friends and all And, you know, where he says he's not part of the crowd or something, even though before he couldn't tell, what, you know, whatever, you know, I'm, I'm getting off track. Anyway, I thought this movie would be bad, um, mostly from the commercials, you know, with the zebra having the big curly uh, circus afro and just singing that song about circus afros. I, I just thought... I just started banging my head on the nearest wall because I thought that was going to be so bad. I was completely right on that, but luckily that was only in a couple scenes, and it was over relatively fast, you know? Yeah, the really bad musical numbers didn't happen until, like, the last 20 minutes, which I am grateful for, but I would have preferred if they weren't in there in the first place. Anyway... This thing is riddled with many, many plot holes. Like, um, like them mentioning that they clearly have no money for anything, yet they suddenly have a big expensive circus set for themselves, which they clearly didn't have before, because they showed the different circus before, and, uh, anyway, anyway, uh, let's go. The, the main villain, alright, um, the, the main villain is this French lady. Her only motivation for trying to get these animals, particularly the lion, is because she wants a lion's head mounted on her wall. I don't know why they put a woman like that in animal control in the first place, because that's who she's working for. Because I'm pretty sure animal control is meant to, like, uh, capture and, uh, you know, stop the animals, not murder them and hang them on their walls, but whatever, maybe that's just me. Um, yes, considering this is her only motivation, would you expect her to liter to seem, to look as if she took special forces training, smash through walls, jump off of buildings, drive a scooter at like a hundred miles per hour after them, not being surprised at all that they can drive a car, drive an airplane that's run by monkeys. She's not even phased by this in the least, as if it's normal. Like, in this world, are animals intelligent? If so, how come they are captured like that? Wouldn't there be, like, civil rights or something, you know? Uh, whatever. That's, you know, I would usually say that suspension of disbelief, but there are so many instances of this, it just has to be asked. And it's never explained. They just kind of brush it off on you like you'll forget it ridiculous. Like, there's this one scene, it's not much of a spoiler, but it is kind of one, you might want to skip ahead a minute or something, but, like, the villain lady, like, all of her comrades, right, after 
this big ac accident while they were um, chasing after the animals. They're all heavily casted up in the hospital, and she sings to them to get them better. But, you know, I'm not sure which is weirder. The fact that this is her first instinct, you know, uh, my men are dying, I better sing to them. Or the fact that it actually fucking works. Because they start getting up, their casts start popping off, and their mascara is running, which is weird. And it's a real over-the-top random scene, which is what you could say about most of the scenes, because a lot of them don't make sense. Alright, uh, something else to complain about, the actual circus. The fact that it could be run without any kind of people whatsoever is kind of stupid in the first place, but whatever, it's a movie about cartoon animals, maybe they can. But there's this bit where um, Alex, Alex, Alex the Lion um, is trying, it, um, he claimed he was a trapeze artist, right? And uh, he's teaching it to someone, to um, the cheetah lady. And somehow he just handles it within uh, two seconds of, of trying it. Like, literally, he's doing amazing tricks. I'm, it just completely undermines all the work that trapeze artists go through, you know? It's a lot harder than it looks to do. And, you know, they're firing themselves out of cannons into mountain cliffs and not even, like, suffering any kind of head injury at all. Uh, that's the suspension of disbelief, I'm sorry. Um, you know... Uh, towards the end, they throw in this really crappy, uh, uh, sad moment, you know, where everyone stops believing in the main characters, but it's not their fault and everything, because they actually helped everyone, which, it, which, to be honest, is a bullshit thing, because they, because, to be honest, the animals didn't, didn't think they were from the circus anyway, they kind of just let them on because the cheetah lady kind of had the hot for them in the first place, but it's, at least that's what it seemed like to me, but apparently they thought they were circus, but, and then later they forgive them for not being from the circus because cheese. And, yeah, they take him back and there's a big rescue scene and the lady tries to kill the lion whilst he's in the zoo. Um, I don't know why, she probably wouldn't be able to have the body, they, you know, because she killed it. But, you know, jeez, so many plot holes. It's so over the top that I can't stand it. There, I could go on like this for hours, just explaining how, how horrible it is, how many plot holes there are, why it is so bad. All right. The only reason you might want to see this is if you're completely into those horribly over the top silly movies where... People are just jumping the shark and nuking the fridge and burning the coke at every chance, you know. If you're into those kind of movies, you might find this pretty funny. But if you're someone like me who likes it to have some sort of basis in reality where you can connect with the characters better, you're going to be really disappointed. So... That's all I have to say about it anymore, and I'll just go on for another hour, and it's not going to be pretty. So, uh, let's see. Right here in my wallet, I have, uh, what is it? Uh, yeah. Nope. Nope. That's not it. Aha. Uh -huh. Here we go. It is a ticket to, uh, what is it? Uh, Ice Age... Continental Drift. I am going to see that at 4.10 today, and I'll, I'll see what that's about. Um, just so you know, I, I have been a fan of the other Ice Age movies, and I think this one was, is probably going to be alright too. Um, I'm not going to go into too heavy detail, I'll just let you know in a couple hours. Ciao! Oh, and uh, this has been A Dire Situation.